Maine. Ming, are you there? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Okay, hello. hello. Okay, so you forgot uh, the time today, right? Or what else? Uh, no, I ha when you text me, I, I have and I, I am study, I was studying in another class. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't know that. Uh, what class were you studying? Oh, it's another English class. It's another English class. Wow. Is it your yes. school's English class or what else? Because why would you study two English classes at the same time? Uh, it's like an extra classes in, in an English center. Oh, okay. So why would your mother want you to study two classes at the same time? <laughs> I wonder. Uh, what? What? No, no, I'm just asking that why would your mother want you to study two English classes at the same time? Yeah, I, I, I don't know why. Like, you don't know like, why? I don't, I don't, yeah. Like, you, like she, like, uh, is that class for IELTS or something? Yeah, it's that class for IELTS. Oh, okay, now I see why. Because in this class, we're not focusing on IELTS. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yes, yes. But do you think it is difficult? No, yes. Okay, I'm just trying to do more exam to, to practice. Mm -hmm. to, okay. Yeah, you already just, uh, you already took the IELTS test once, right? So you know that is quite uh, it is quite difficult if you don't know how to do it. Yes. Um, yeah, I just do. Uh, do more exam to to have the the test as early as uh, I can. Oh, because I because okay. I, I think like I I think the first time when I take uh when I take the first test, I think I would not pass it. That I won't have a a good uh good good uh, mark like like a, like a one uh is about. Uh, zero point. That's like uh, zero seven point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think I. So I think I have to. I may have to. Uh, take uh, about like a couple times. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, I have to say that I have to say that based on your skills alone, I think that is quite difficult for you to get seven right now but seven uh, but 6.5 yes. or six is is good enough okay uh yes. your best skills right now is writing and i have to say your writing is far more superior than 6.5 okay, so so you just you should yeah. yeah you should expect to get a seven on your writing but for your speaking it has to be it has to be better i guess i yeah, yeah. It, it, it needs more practice. Uh, from what I see right now, your speaking could be around 6.5. And if you want to make it to 7, you need to control your grammar and your tone a little bit more. Yes. Okay. Be more expressive. Be more confident. That's what the teacher, that's what the examiner wants to see. So if you're just a quiet kid and you're not that expressive, not that confident, they will minus a, a, like a little bit point of yours. Okay, right. So uh, last time we were talking about this, right? We were talking about problems with li uh, when, living, uh, when living with someone else. Yeah? Problems when sharing living yes. space with someone else. Uh, and we also, we also looked at question tags, right? Chúng ta cũng nhìn qua cái phần mà tag question. Câu hỏi đuôi rồi đúng không nào? Okay, now I need you to finish this exercise right here. Okay, do you see task two on the screen? Yes. Okay, now please complete the task two for me. Uh, the, the flash, the flash, great, isn't it? Okay, now read it with more confidence. Like, the flash, great, isn't it? The flash, great, isn't it? 
you. That's good. Number two. You don't really like cleaning, do you? Good. That's right. Next. Uh, you you leave a lot of clothes on the floor, don't you? Don't you? Thank you. You really don't need to uh, pronounce here at is. You just like clothes, clothes, clothes. Yeah, you leave a lot of clothes on the floor, don't you? That's good. Four, the cooker. The cooker can get quite dirty. Uh, okay. The cooker can get quite dirty. Uh, uh, doesn't it? Doesn't it? So maybe no. You should really look at the, the sentence. If it has a model verb like can, like may, like might or not. Okay. If it does have a model verb, in it, you will use the model verb in the tag question. Okay, so the cooker can get quite dirty, can't it? Can, oh, can it? Okay, see, right? If it has a model verb, nếu như nó có động từ khiếm khuyết, can, made, my, should, thì chúng ta sẽ vận dụng lại cái động từ đó ở phần phía đuôi, được chưa nào? Next, we need to talk about who cleans the bathroom. Talk. I will clean the platform. We need to talk about the platform. Uh, needn't we? Needn't we? Okay, so you're using the word needn't we. You think that needn't we? Need, you think that need is a model verb? But no, need is not a model verb. Is it? Oh, no. don't we? Don't we? Okay. See, don't we? Need is not a model verb. Okay, you make and that's okay. People like mistake that a lot too. Okay, I'm probably more organized than you. Uh, I am probably more. Uh, this is tricky. This is tricky. Uh, do I? Uh, do I? Don't I? So. Don't I. If you use if you use don't I if you use don't I so that means that the main verb in the statement is a finite verb. Nếu như chúng ta sử dụng don't hay là do it thì động từ chính trong cái mật đề nó phải là finite verb tức là động từ có chia thì theo chủ ngữ đúng không? Động từ có chia theo chủ ngữ và ở đây ok chúng ta cũng đồng ý là cái em này cũng là động từ chia theo chủ ngữ thật nhưng đây có phải là động từ chỉ hành động thật không? Đây chỉ là động từ to be thôi. Ok so my answer is aren't I. I. Aren't I? Oh, aren't I? Okay. okay. So this is this is a special uh, this is a special situation, right? I'm going to send it to you so that you remember. Oh my god. Okay. I'm going to send it to you. So please remember to look at it later. Look at this exercise later because it will help you. Right? It will help you a lot when you're doing uh, the university entrance test because to question tags, there should be at least one one x one question uh, with this type of uh, this type of question. There should be at least at least one exercise with this type of question. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Are you seeing it now? What happened? Yes. Okay. Now it's back to normal. I'm probably more organized than you. So what can you learn from this? Is that in question tags that start with I and the verb follow is a to be verb. So the beginning of the sentence is I am. Okay? Uh, the ending of this question tag should be aren't I. Okay. But if you say I'm not, I'm not. So the ending is am I. Do you understand what I say? If this part is I am not, I'm not, the ending for the question pack should be am I. A special situation. Because you see that am, am does not have a negative form. Am does not have a negative form. So it's trying to borrow from, uh, from another to be verb, and that is aren't. Hiểu chưa? Bản thân của thằng am nó không có thể giống như là is hay là are, is có is not, are có are not, 
còn em em nó thì nó chỉ có cái dạng viết r như vậy thôi nó không có dạng viết tắt như, như là hai cái phần còn lại nên nó sẽ mượn như thế nào đây nó sẽ phải mượn Uh, listen to the student doing the task in class one answer the question okay i got uh, i have to turn on the audio first yeah okay good where is it now you're going to listen to student doing the task in task one So this is the task in task one, the, the question, the situation, the context is all here, okay? And now you're going to listen to a student answering the question or doing the task, right? And after you finish listening to them, you're going to answer the three questions on the screen. First, let's look at the question, which, which specific problems are mentioned, okay? which specific problems are mentioned. So the student is going to talk about um, sharing a lot, sharing a, a living space with another person. So of course, he or she is going to talk about the problems that are going to happen. Okay, listen to the problem and tell me, do the speakers react appropriately to each other? Do the speakers react appropriately to each other? What is the outcome of the conversation? Okay, so this is a type of conversation test, a okay, conversational test. So there are two students talking to each other, right? Um, so please listen and uh, and like, and, what do you say? Please listen and tell me if they are treating each other appropriately or their attitude, are their attitude good or bad? What is the outcome of the conversation? Okay, the final sentence. Should, be, should tell you the outcome of the conversation. Is that okay? okay. Right now, let's listen. Do you need to? Uh, do you need a paper and a pen to write down? Do you need? Well, do you need some paper and a pen to write down? Okay. Do you need to write down the questions too? No. Oh, okay. Okay, right. Now, ready? Lesson 2G, exercises 3 and 4. Can I have a word with you about something, please? Sure. What is it? Well, it's just that I think we need to decide on some rules for cleaning the flat. We want to live together successfully, don't we? Really? I thought we were living together successfully. What did you have in mind? Um, I thought perhaps we could have a cleaning rotor. We're supposed to keep the flat clean, you know. It's in our contract. Well, okay. You must feel that I haven't been doing my share of the cleaning then. Well, it's just that sometimes when you're in a hurry, you leave things in a mess. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think I'm not as tidy as you are then? Well, yes, I'm afraid I do. I didn't want to bring it up, but you left the kitchen very untidy last Friday evening, before you went away. The sink was full of dirty plates. Oh, I'm sorry about that. You should have said something earlier. I'll make sure I wash the dishes next time. The floors and work surfaces also need to be cleaned regularly. Could we possibly agree on some rules for that? Okay. We could take it in turns to clean the kitchen, couldn't we? You do it one week, I do it the next. Yes. We ought to clean the bathroom too, and vacuum the carpets. Hmm. Okay. Perhaps we could get a cleaner in to do that. A cleaner? You must be joking. We can't afford that. Why don't we clean the whole flat together once a week? We can do it on a weekday evening. Okay, I agree. Tuesdays would probably be best for me. It's settled then. Okay. It, is it clear for you? Yes. Okay, do you need a second chance? No. 
<laughs> no. Okay. So let's try. Mm. So if, if I find any mistake in your answer, I will let you listen to that conversation again to show you where the, where the exact detail is. Okay. So which specific problems are mentioned? Uh, a girl was complaining of her, her yeah, we're not a student. Yeah. So there are two people, friend. two people A and B. So just use that to uh, to talk about it. Um. So two people A and B. So A is the one who got the complaint, right? Là người bị than phiền. Yeah. Who got the complaint? Uh, complaint. Okay. And how about B? Is well, is the one who complained? Yes. Right now, let's. Talk about it. Uh, be the girl be complained about the girl A that uh, she was dirty when uh, A were in a trip, uh, with a trip to Hawaii. Oh, okay. And she left, and she left the kitchen and the hole. Uh, yeah, maybe the whole and yeah, then the, the kitchen flat. dirty, the flat dirty. Okay. And uh, uh and then the the girl the girl A, she she was she she was complaining about her faults, and she swear that she will do it uh next time. Mm. And and then uh. Two girls are sharing the cleaning job together, and and then I have heard that uh the girl and I will, will do the cleaning in Tuesday, and on Tuesday, and on Tuesday, and the girl B is well, I, I'm not sure, but he, she will do at the evening. Weekend? Weekend or weekday? Yeah, uh, weekday. Yeah, in the okay. weekday. Weekday, weekday. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so girl B will do her job, will do her cleaning uh, job on, on a weekday night, right? On a weekday night. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So instead of answering question number one, you summarize the whole conversation for me. <laughs> yeah, but, but I could, but I could, uh, totally understand what he said there so that that was a good summer that was a good summary i have to say if you do that everybody can understand the situation okay so because you don't know their names you don't know their name uh, you should yes. give them like you just give them a nickname or something so that my people could follow your story better by saying by calling them a and b and we specify uh, we specify their name at the beginning of the, of the talk of the summary yeah, so people could follow the story. Okay, right. So, uh, like girl B was complaining about how girl A uh, did not, did not have a clean lifestyle. Okay, so you first said that girl B, a uh, girl A was dirty. That is not correct. So when you say girl A was dirty, it means that she does not shower. She has dirty clothes or she looks dirty. Okay. So you should say that she has a dirty lifestyle or she does not clean like regularly. She does not clean her room, her space regularly. Okay, right. And yes. here, I also heard this in your summary that the kitchen was dirty last Friday and there were dirty plates in the sink. So like she left, the, she left the kitchen dirty when she came to, when she was going to Hawaii. Good. Right, so do the speakers react appropriately to each other? So from the conversation, do you think that their attitude were good towards each other? Mm, yes. Mm, okay, right. Yes, that's right. Do the speakers react appropriately to each other? Là hai cái người này nói chuyện với nhau mà cái bầu không khí nó có hòa bình hay không? Chẳng hạn như vậy. Right, so what is the outcome of the conversation? They, they gave each other a what? A cleaning rotor. Some rules and a yes. cleaning rotor. Họ đã đề ra lợi cho lẫn nhau một số cái quy tắc và một cái lịch trình dọn dẹp. Thế nào? Right. 
they agreed to clean the flat together every Tuesday evening. Okay. So this is a detailed answer. If you don't remember the, the detail very correctly, you can say just like I did. You can answer just like I did. Like they agreed on a, a they agreed on some rules for a cleaning rota. Okay. The teachers might ask for a more specific question, but because you just listened to the conversation only once and the conversation was quite long, so it's okay to give out a not very detailed answer. Okay, good. All right. Complete the phrase from the dialogue with the words below. Listen again and check. Okay, so now we're going to fill in the blanks first, and then we're going to listen for the uh, for the correct answers later. Right. So you have all the words right here. Bring, fill, just mind on, perhaps, resolve, should, and work. Okay. Put each word in each space accordingly. Right. One, can I have a word with you? Okay, can I have a word with you? Okay, it's very polite. Next, well, is? It feels that. Oh, okay, it, it is feel that, so no. If you use the word feel here, so it shouldn't be, it is feel. It's supposed to be, it feels, right? Okay, right, so, You leave that at blank, chúng ta để cái để cái đó trống đi, để cái đó trống đi, để con số 2 trống rồi chúng ta sẽ tự tìm ra đáp án khi điền hết được ký chữ còn lại. Rồi bây giờ chúng ta không làm theo thứ tự ha. À, mình làm được câu nào nè, mình làm được câu nào. Three. Three, okay, what did you have in? In mind. Okay, what did you have in mind? So this is a very useful, uh, how do you say, idiom when you want to improve your IELTS speaking score. Okay, what did you have in mind? What I have in mind is that what you think inside your head, okay? Yes. Okay, good. For I thought. I thought perhaps we could. Ah, okay, I thought perhaps we could. So perhaps, perhaps is like maybe, okay? Perhaps it's like maybe. You're giving, uh, like, sao ta đưa một cái, đưa một cái gì đó, giả tưởng, giả sử ở đây, đúng không? Một điều kiện có thể. Một điều gì đó chúng ta có thể làm. Right, you must. You must resolve that. You must resolve that. Okay, we just skip that. We're going to skip that. But I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to bring it up. I didn't want to bring it up. Okay, good. Next. Uh, You should have said something earlier. Okay, you should have said something earlier. Good. Okay, so we already have uh, bring and should. Good. I could we possible possibly agree on? Could we possibly agree on? Can you say that again? Could we possibly agree on? Possibly, possibly, one more time. Uh, could, we po could we possibly agree on? Good. Could we possibly agree on? That's good. Okay, so what else are we left with? Uh, we are left with feel and just yeah, and resolve. Okay, so there are only two answers left. Okay. Well, is is just that it's just that okay it sounds appropriate here sounds the most appropriate right nó nghe phù hợp nhất bởi vì it ở đây là nó đã có động từ to be rồi thì những cái từ mà đã có động từ to be rồi những cái câu mà đã có động từ to be sẵn rồi thì không thêm động từ nguyên mẫu vô cho cô được nha okay so it's just that this might be it uh, you must you must feel that you must feel that okay so what does it mean when people say you must feel that You know. Okay, you must feel that it's like uh, you're as you're assuming the feelings of someone. Okay, you uh, you're assuming the feeling of someone. So, for example, I just broke up with my boyfriend. Okay, 
for example, I just broke up with my boyfriend. So I appear, I, I come to class and my face is all sad, right? And I tell you that, Ming, I just broke up with my boyfriend. And you're like, okay. you, mu you must feel that he's a terrible person. Okay. So you're assuming my feeling about my boyfriend, right? That is how you say oh. you must feel that. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay, so another example, another example, you come to class and no, and you say hello to me, but your voice seems very tired. Okay, and uh, you like I, I can see that you're not excited at all. So I ask you, you must feel that this class is boring, right? Okay, that oh, is how okay. that, that is how I assume you're feeling. You must feel that. Okay, so okay. must oh. must hear must hear is not used for obligation. Must ở đây không được dùng để nói về cái quy tắc mà chúng ta bắt buộc phải tuân theo, đúng không? Mà nó được dùng để dự đoán một điều gì đó. Sau này chúng ta sẽ học đến các cái dạng có cấp hơn, ví dụ như là must have, đó. Rồi, ở đây must dừng lại đây đã. Must còn được dùng để nói về dự đoán về cảm xúc. Dự đoán nghĩa tiếng Việt là chắc hẳn, đúng không? Chắc hẳn bạn đang cảm thấy như thế nào đó. Ok, now let's listen to the conversation again and please check it yourself that if you're correct 100%. Lesson 2G, Exercises 3 and 4. Can I have a word with you about something, please? Sure. What is it? Well, so for the first thing, you already correct with, can I have a word with you about something, right? Mm. Next. It's just that I think we need to decide on some rules. It's just that, right? It's just that you just hit, heard her say, right? for cleaning the flat. We want to live together successfully, don't we? Really? I thought we were living together successfully. What did you have in mind? Um, what did you have in mind? That is perfect. Okay, so have in mind, the phrase have in mind is used to talk about something inside your head. Okay. I thought perhaps we could have a cleaning rotor. I thought perhaps we could have a cleaning rotor. That's good. We're supposed to keep the flat clean, you know. It's in our contract. Well, okay. You must feel that I haven't been doing my share of the cleaning then. Good job. You must feel that. Well, it's just that sometimes when you're in a hurry, you leave things in a mess. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think I'm not as tidy as you are then? Well, yes, I'm afraid I do. I didn't want to bring it up, but you left the kitchen very untidy last Friday evening. Okay, perfect choice here. I didn't want to bring it up. So what is bring it up? What does bring it up mean? What does bring it up mean? I, uh, like, I want to tell something uh, directly. Uh, telling something directly. Uh, well, not exactly. So when you want to bring something up, you want you, and when you want to bring something up, you want to talk about something, especially mentioning something. Okay, so like I didn't I didn't want to mention this. I didn't want to mention it. Bring it up giống như là em có một cái chủ đề. Đó, em có một cái chủ đề, em có một cái vấn đề gì đó rồi. Nhưng mà khi mà em bring it up là em lôi cái vấn đề đó ra để nói. Thì lôi nó ra thì nó giống như là cái hành động mention. Thì thế nào? Nhắc đến. Rồi. I didn't want to bring it up. Chẳng muốn nói đến đâu. Chẳng muốn nhắc đến đâu. Continue. Before you went away, the sink was full of dirty plates. Oh, I'm sorry about that. You should have said something earlier. I'll make sure I wash the dishes next time. The floors and work surfaces also need to be cleaned regularly. Could we possibly agree on some rules for that? That is good. Okay, all correct answers then. Right, do you think this is easy? Yes. Yes, okay. Why do you look so confused? Why do you look so confused? Uh, okay, I still have some mistakes. Are you, okay, you still have some mistakes, okay? But you learn from your mistakes now, right? Yes. Okay. Right. Introduce each topic using the phrases from task four and discuss diplomatically. 
um, okay, so being diplomatic, being diplomatic, it's like you're being, you're being very politely angry, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. you, like being diplomatic uh -huh. is like you're being very politely, um, how to say, straightforward and angry. So when you need to discuss something with someone that you don't feel uncomfortable with, you tend to be very awkward. You tend to be very diplomatic, right? Yes. Okay? Or like there is some uh, sensitive topic between you two that you need to talk about. So you can't talk about that problem in a very funny or very relaxing manner. You have to be diplomatic. You have to be straightforward. Right. So like the problem we just discussed earlier, two people living in the same space, but they are not agreeing on something. Okay, they're not agreeing on something, so one of them must be diplomatic, okay, meaning that they have to be polite, but they need to be straightforward also. Cần phải thẳng thắn, nhưng mà cũng phải rất là lịch sự, tự tế để nói chuyện với nhau, chứ không thôi là thẳng ra cái chợ cãi nhau như trên mạng mất, đúng không nào? Yes. Okay, so have you ever seen a conversation on internet that is diplomatic? Yeah, frequently. Oh, yeah. Frequently, really? Okay, so I must be yeah. living in a world filled with drama. <laughs> yeah, I must be. I must be uh, in a world uh, filled with drama. <laughs> uh, internet in uh, in uh, on in Vietnam is not really this uh, romantic at all. Okay, all right. Can you wait a moment? Yes. Right, so you can so uh, you can say that diplomatic is a characteristic that people who work mostly uh, who have the who whose work is related to conversation all the time need to have. Okay, I will say that again. Being diplomatic is a characteristic that belongs to those whose work revolves around conversations all the time. Okay, so for example. Customer service, you know, customer service, what, right? Yes. Okay, so a, a, a person whose work is a customer service needs to be diplomatic because they need to uh, have good conversations with their customer, right? Yes. Okay, so yes. some, okay, so for, uh, how, uh, another example, uh, Bộ Ngoại Giao, okay. Okay, Bộ Ngoại Giao, the uh, external, rela external relation department, Okay, so if someone works in the external relations department, they need to be diplomatic because they need to converse, that they need to um, commute, commute with a lot of customer, right? They need to commute with a lot of customers. And yeah, being diplomatic is what um, is like the top priority. Okay, so can you give me the Vietnamese translation of being diplomatic? I'm not sure. You're not sure. I, 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 I have no idea. Okay, you understand it in English, but you're not sure about it in Vietnamese. Yeah. Right? So, yes. um, okay, so I talked about the job of those who worked in the external relation department already, right? Cô đã nói về cái công việc của những người mà làm trong cái bộ ngoại giao đúng không? Thì Minh thử nghĩ coi là những người làm trong bộ ngoại giao là phải nói chuyện với người khác rất nhiều. Vậy thì cái tính chất của họ sẽ phải như thế nào? Đấy, cái sự cái sự đối đáp của họ cái conversation của họ với khách hàng phải như thế nào không chúng ta không nói đến lịch thiệp nha chắc chắn là phải lịch thiệp rồi bởi vì đây là uh, đây là công việc mà chắc chắn là phải lịch thiệp rồi nhưng mà họ sẽ phải nói chuyện như thế nào để thuyết phục được đối phương tham phu what I don't know that word <cười> uh, uh, how do you spell it like T I C T. Ah, T I tactful, tactful. Okay, okay. I yes, tactful. Uh, tactful is like they have they have a plan in mind, right? Tactful is like they have a yeah, plan, they yeah. have a strategy in mind. Okay, that is they, good. They must, they must, they must think really clearly after uh before they say. Okay, that is really good. That is really good. But it's it's close to diplomatic, really. It's close to diplomatic. Uh, chúng ta thường hay uh, hay nghe các cụ nói là những người mà giỏi giao tiếp thường là những người khôn ngoan và khéo léo đúng không nhỉ? 
Đó. Và cái, cái, cái giao tiếp của họ như thế nào Họ sẽ biết cách giao tiếp một cách khéo léo Để khiến cho người khác luôn cảm thấy thoải mái Khi mà nói chuyện với họ Thì cái diploma đó chính là như vậy Đó là giao tiếp khéo léo khôn ngoan Để cho nên đạo hoạt Đạo hoạt I don't, I don't remember if the, the word dạo hoạt has the same meaning But like I have to check Phải tra từ điểm chữ dạo hoạt thế này Okay, no wrong. <laughs> I understood the word completely wrong. Okay, so no doubt had here. Just con khéo, okay? Con khéo léo, khéo léo, con men. Can we, can we forget about dạo hạt? Because I understood the word completely wrong, like for my 20 yeah. years of studying Vietnamese. <laughs> 20 years of studying Vietnamese, I got the word wrong. I'm so sad. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. So here they are trying to make us practice speaking using these phrases, and they're trying to make us practice these phrases by uh, suggest by by telling us to suggest something, telling us to, to suggest something. So for the first one, can I have a word with you about washing the dishes? Okay, they make an example for us already, and now it's your turn, my turn to to use it. Like to apply the knowledge into real life conversation. Okay, oh. so first we're talking about washing the dishes, right? Can I uh, can I have a word with you about washing the dishes? Okay, imagine the the conversation moving on. Okay. Now, okay, uh, number two, you say this when you want to complain with me about something, and you're explaining the situation why you're complaining with uh, complaining it to me. Okay, number two. Can you make a question with that? Uh, make a sentence with that. Well, it's just that, like, uh, we talk about this topic, the, the, yeah, the washing yeah. dishes. Yeah, washing dishes. That's right. Uh, it's just that, uh, the dishes is not clean at all. The dishes are, uh, yeah. Uh, the dishes, it, yeah, the, the dishes are okay. So decide on the tense, please. Decide on the tense. <laughs> uh, it's just that the, the dishes uh, were not uh, clean at all. Were not clean at all. So it means that in the past, I did not clean the dishes, right? No, if you clean it, but it not, uh, but it not look. Uh, but uh, but look it good. was not a hundred percent clean. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. So so don't use the word at all because at all meaning 100%. You said that the dishes oh. were not clean at all. I, I thought that, oh my God, like I forgot to clean or something because like we're not clean at all. It means that I did not clean the dishes. Okay. It, it's super dirty. Or you can say that the clean, um, you can say the dishes uh, were not clean enough. Oh, yes. Okay, the dishes were still dirty. You can also say that. Okay, one more time. Suggest the idea again. Well, it's just that the dishes were not clean enough. Oh, okay. The dishes were not clean enough. Thank you. Um, right. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I guess I must have forgotten to. Uh, I, I guess I was in a hurry. I said that again. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I was in a hurry. Okay. Uh, do you want to talk about, do you want to discuss about the, a cleaning rotor for both of us? Yes. Uh, I thought perhaps we could have a dishwasher machine. Ah, okay, okay. I thought perhaps we could have a dishwasher. You don't have to say dishwasher machine. You just need to say dishwasher. Yeah. Uh, well. Dishwasher, yeah. Okay, can you say that again? Um, I, I thought. I thought we perhaps we could afford a, a, a dishwasher. A dishwasher. Okay, so if you use the word afford, it means that you have enough money to buy something or to do something. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could okay. have a dishwasher. Mm. You could say, uh, I thought perhaps we could install a dishwasher or we could have a dishwasher oh, or buy a dishwasher. We could okay. install, okay, buy or have, okay, anything, anything that fits this situation, but not afford because afford is like you have enough money to do something. Then 
if you say this, I will be, oh my God, we can't afford that. Like we're both students. How can we afford a dishwasher? Okay. Okay, so I will say number five. Um, you must feel that I'm not doing my cleaning jobs. Uh, how do you say? Uh, yeah, you must feel that I'm not doing my cleaning job properly, right? I didn't want to bring it up, but uh, but uh, I I I had uh, just I had a I, I have a I have a, a food lead lead literacy last week because uh, of your dirty dishes. Food literacy, what is that? What is it? Oh food poisoning. <laughs> uh, food, uh, yeah, food poisoning. Okay. Okay, say that again. Food poisoning. I just wouldn't want to bring it up, but I have uh, I had a food poisoning last week oh. because of your uh, dirty dishes. Good, that's right. Okay, I didn't want to bring it up, but I had food, food poisoning because of your dirty dishes. Okay, that is very, uh, how do I say? I didn't expect you would say that. I didn't expect you would say that. <laughs> very surprising. Oh, God, that's really terrible. You should have said something earlier. Okay, um, so could we possibly agree on Mm, uh, on like a, a cleaning rota. I will clean the dishes. No, you, no, you will clean the dishes and I will clean the floor. Okay, yes. so, so just something yes. that I'm just suggesting. Yeah. Could we possibly yeah. agree on sharing, uh, like changing, changing the house chore? Could we possibly agree on changing the house chores? I don't like cleaning dishes, so I will leave the cleaning dish. Uh, I will leave the dishes to you, and instead, I will clean the floor. Right? Yeah. Okay. okay we're, we're just practicing. We're just practicing. Don't worry. Yes. Okay. Oh my God. What? <laughs> why, why is there so many topics left? Oh, no. Because like when when did when they're designing this book, um, they they're trying to like you have to come up with a concept, right? You have to come up with a concept. A concept is like uh the general topic that this unit that's this lesson is going to focus on. Okay, so this this con the concept of this is being diplomatic and making suggestions with the other person. Okay. Right, yeah. like a polite request with the other person, and uh, they, and there's a theme. The theme, nó có một cái theme nữa, okay? Cái theme, cái chủ đề, and they're going to present the concept by adding, uh, by adding question, by adding the grammar. Đúng không? Họ sẽ thể hiện cái chủ đề này bằng cách dạy cho chúng ta biết là cách sử dụng những cái uh, ngữ pháp trong trường hợp này như thế nào. Đó, trong trường hợp mà yêu cầu lịch sự, được chưa? Yes. I, I thought someone just walked into your room. Yeah, I, I think uh, I thought. Uh, uh, no, it, it's okay. My I, mom. Okay, my, your mom. Uh, I'm so sorry for looking into that, but like the camera, the camera was so blur. Yeah. I couldn't see. Yeah. I couldn't yeah, see clearly. I know. Yeah, I couldn't see clearly. I just saw someone walk into your room. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, no. Like you, do you need to talk to your mom or something? No, she just check. Uh, she just she wants to check that uh, whether I do something wrong. Oh, okay. So sometimes, <laughs> yeah. so sometimes she just yeah. walks into your room like that. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I don't know why when when I like uh like can think for for example like I uh last night I were doing my my homework uh about uh when about uh, from about 8 p.m. to like 12 12 p.m. and then and then I and then I uh and, and when no and then I finished it and I have finished it when is 
when there is a 12 p.m. and 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 I I play games after that and I was playing game after that and I don't know why in three hours of study my my mom didn't check uh, and once but when I turn my game on uh, she she come she came in and and check and she she, she got she angry and, on me. yeah uh, she got angry and why. she got angry and she said that why aren't you doing your homework yeah I'm so sad oh no I'm so sorry I I used to be in that situation too I used to be in that situation too like I already finished my homework I got ready for the yeah. for the classes in the morning. But yeah, yes. when my mom or my dad like walked by, I was playing game, and uh, and he and she both said that um I I'm I'm like I'm a computer addict. <laughs> I'm a computer. Addict. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, addicted to the computer. Right. So yes. maybe you need to talk to your mom. Like maybe maybe you need to talk to your mom, or uh you present your homework to your mom, saying that mom, I'm already done. Can I go play games now? Yeah. No. Uh, this thing has happened many times, so is is like just a uh, uh is common in uh, with me, with me and my mom now. And okay, it's common. She, she she still complain, and yeah, I just you know, say yeah, okay, I, I won't do it uh, anytime. But, you, yeah, but like you, it, you won't do it anytime. Huh? Yeah, it's what happened. Uh, is is one happened again and oh and well it still happened <laughs> and the thing is uh still so cold oh uh, well well i understand it's okay i, I don't so, mind that yeah so you say, mom too. <laughs> you say you say you don't <laughs> mind it but i can feel that you somehow really want you, you somehow really wish your mom would understand that you already finished your homework okay and you just yeah. want to have well, some time playing. Well, it's I okay because I know. Yeah, it's okay because I know when I play it, she she still complain it, but uh, she she's just slightly tired. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad that you're not very sensitive. I'm glad you're not very sensitive. No, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, if I were in your shoe, I would uh, like I would have an argument with my mom already because I'm quite sensitive about my <laughs> privacy. And I don't like it when people say things that I don't do. When people oh, assume yeah. things that I don't do. Like, like just in yes. your situation, she assumed that I'm playing games because I'm not doing the homework. But instead, I'm already, I'm already finished, right? Let me play, let me have my own uh, free time. Okay, so we did complete a lot of stuff in this lesson, right? We complete a lot of stuff in this lesson. There are still some slides next, and I think we'll probably finish it in the next week. It's uh, almost time to go. I have to go too. Okay, so thank you so much for coming here today. I will see you again on Saturday, right? So next week's schedule, can you study on, uh, can you study at three to four? Can you study at three to four? Or you can only study at three to four on, some, on Saturday only. Yeah, I, I think I just can only say uh 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 study on three to four on on Saturday, but okay. I but I think uh uh I will not available in in Sunday. Okay, I see. So just like to like this week, then make it like this week, like three to four on Saturday. Because uh, because my 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 English class have to uh, no has it has to uh to shift. Ca học của chúng ta học. À, ca học đúng rồi. Has to shift. Có hai ca đúng không? Yeah, yeah. You have to shift. A uh, one uh, the time is on uh two two p.m. to three point thirty. 3 30 p.m uh -huh. and the second is 3 30 p.m to to five okay i see i see i understand thank you for telling me though yeah. no worries no worries i can still uh like adjust my schedule i'm just i like i just really want to move it to a little bit sooner but if if that's not okay with you then it's okay if that's not if that's not okay with you then i would gladly change my schedule don't worry okay thank you so much i will be leaving now thank you See ya. Bye.